Hey everybody, uh, real quick video here on how to change out your blower resistor motor on a 98 Nissan Sentra. Um, if you guys have this dilemma that I've experienced lately, um, and it does it periodically, um, your fan will run either not at all or um, at the same speed. So I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it, but my fan runs the same speed whether I choose one or two. So I'm on one and go to two and nothing changes. There's one to two. I'm gonna go to three, you get an increase. Four, you get an increase. But from two and one, it's the same. So it's called the blower resistor motor. Uh, relatively easy to get to and replace. Um, show you underneath here. So you got your glove box. Just sits up underneath your glove box. That thing right there. So it's a little uh, item, very easy to, I believe it's two screws to change out in the plug. Um, you just simply click on the top of the plug, pinch it together, and kind of work and pull it out. And um, it's kind of a tight fit, especially if it hasn't been done in a long time or ever. Um, they kind of get glued in there uh, over time. But uh, there's two little pinch tabs right here you can see that I'm pinching together. You have to pinch it down pretty hard in order to get it to remove. It pops out. You want to take a look at your connections, make sure that they're not all uh, burned up or any uh, abnormalities there. If so, you will want to replace those. And then it's just these screws up here. You can see right there, two Phillips screws uh, to change out. So let me grab my Phillips screwdriver, change that out. Um, quality part is an item that I would highly recommend. Otherwise, you'll find yourself doing this time and time again. Um, I've got a brand here, it's called Import Direct. Um, I bought it at O'Reilly's. Uh, it is a lot better quality than, um, I think they sell Master Pro, uh, which is not so good quality. So um, I've said this over the years, uh, they have a lifetime warranty, but you'll spend a lifetime replacing them. Uh, spend a few more dollars, uh, pick up a uh, nicer quality part, if not uh, OEM. So this is what the item looks like. See, it's just the two screws that will hold it in here and on the bottom and what happens is uh wind blows across this from the hvac system and it can uh sense um temperature and stuff like that so um that's it i will uh, grab my phillips screwdriver and change that out and we will go from there so i'll try doing this uh one-handed um i've removed the lower screw hopefully you can see i'm just doing the top screw now uh, but when we remove this screw, it looks like it's loose enough. Pull the two screws out. The item itself will just pull out. So, relatively easy to replace. Um, you'll see I set it here and can look and ensure that it's the same part. So I've got my old one here. And my new one here, you can see that they are identical. And so we'll take the old part, set it aside, take the new one, put it up in place. And it's just a little tiny um, slit there. I don't know if you can see it, that it goes into place. So kind of seals itself up in there, out of sight, out of mind. And uh, it's got a couple little guides um, you can see. I don't know if you can see here that little screw hole there. That's a little guide that'll hold it in place. And uh, just kind of push it up in there, make sure that's nice and snug and firmly in place. Take your screws and put your two screws back in. So no need to pay a shop to do this. I'd imagine most shops will charge you an hour labor um, to do it and something that you can do yourself uh, with a couple of Phillips screws. Uh, relatively easy and uh, and uh, cheap. I think I paid twenty nine dollars for the part, um, so not badly priced and uh, relatively easy to do. So um, this is the second one that I've done in this car. The first time I bought it, uh, it only had off and um, level four, a complete um, chaos. If uh, you just wanted a light vent, so. Um, Relatively easy to do. This one has lasted me four or five years without a problem. Um, okay, we've got them tight, screwed back into place. Simply plug it back in and uh, 
Should be relatively easy to do. Takes a little bit of uh, pressure to push it into place until it clicks. And I just make sure that everything's snug and correct. And so now when you come back, um, I'm gonna cycle back off, back on. Now I have level one, a little higher, three and four. So you can see that did fix it. Uh, it's a 98 Nissan Sentra with a 1.6 liter, um, relatively easy uh, item to replace. Uh, simple little, it's called a blower resistor motor. And looking at the part number, again, this is from uh, O'Reilly's, but import direct, um, much better quality items. Uh, instead of Master Pro, I'd recommend that. Uh, but you've got, it looks like part number 30-0134 uh, resistor motor. So uh, pretty simple to do. Um, do it yourself, don't need to pay a mechanic. Takes a Phillips screwdriver. And as you can see, about five minutes of your time. Hope this helped uh, somebody out. Um, and save you a little bit of money. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and uh, drive safe.